Aryom Sharvaha means one who destroys everything. So at the end of the creation, Bhagwan does the samhara, and the whole creation is dissolved. Shrinati Himsati Antakale Sarvam Iti Sharvaha. At the end, one who destroys everything is called Sharva. In this form, he is the presiding deity of fire. The Vedas also praise this form as Sarve e bhya sarva sarve e bhyo namaste astu rudra rupe bhya. Life is very uncertain, but death is certain. When we understand death in the right perspective, then we lose all fear of death. Once there was a sick person who was resting in the room and the person was terminally ill and he had very few days to live. So when the doctor came to meet him, he was in the room. So the servants took the doctor to meet him. But along with them, there was the pet dog of this person. And the dog was very excited. As soon as the doctor opened the door, the dog ran inside. And he went to his master and he was very excited. And he started going round, round, round the master. And he tried to you know, climb up a little. The master also was petting him. The doctor was seeing all this. Doctor did what he had to do. He gave him some medicines, gave him an injection, took down his BP, all that. And he saw the master and he saw that this person was very happy petting the dog. So the doctor asked him, you know, there are just a few days left for you. Are you not anxious? You will drop this body. You will be dead soon. Are you not anxious? And the person gave a very beautiful reply. He said, Doctor, did you see this dog? Was he not very excited before you came into the room? Why was he very excited? Because he knows that when this door opens, he is going to meet his master. Was there any anxiety? Was there any fear? Was there any disappointment in him? No. In the same way, I know that when this body is dropped, death is going to open the door for me. And my master is waiting there. Why should I be scared? A devotee is one who always remembers this, that the whole creation is rising from the Lord, stays in the Lord and goes back to the Lord. So we came from the Lord. We are sustained by the Lord here and we go back to the Lord. Bhagwan is the one who is the destroyer. In the Gita also he says, Mrityuhu sarvaharas chaham kalak kalayatamaham. I am the time which destroys everything. But this is also Rudra Rupa Bhagwan. When we have this attitude that I am going back to the Lord alone, there is no fear in our heart. Sharvaha also means one who inflicts pain. Sometimes Bhagwan inflicts pain by giving us the karma fala of our negative karmas so that we learn from our mistakes, we evolve, we get further purified. Sometimes he inflicts pain like he did for the rishis of Darukavana to make them realize their delusion and to come out of it. He blessed them with knowledge. And Sharvaha also means one who destroys the sins of the devotees. When the devotee sincerely prays to the Lord, Bhagwan destroys their sins, blesses them and even confers liberation to them. Such is the compassion of Bhagavan. In the Rudram Chamakam, the name Sharva also is praised as the one who is the caretaker of all the beings. Namah Sharvaya Chapa Shupata Yecha. So Bhagavan is praised as Sharvaha, not only one who is the destroyer, but also as the Pashupati. So in the name as Sharva, he presides over this whole earth. 
sustains this earth and sustains all the living beings on this earth so the shiv puran gives the meaning of sharvaha as this urvi sarvatmika murtihi iti shastrasya nischaya lord shiva is in the form of the earth so in the form of the earth he sustains and in the form of the fire and water and air he destroys us as sharva bhagwan also has a special manifestation amongst the ekadasha rudra sharva is the ninth rudra so the shiva agamas they describe the form of sharva in this way tisru naam cha puram hanta कृतांत मदभंजन खड्गपाणीक्ष्णदर्वाख्योस्तु मुदे मम वन हू इज द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ द त्रिपुरा द थ्री सिटीज द त्रिपुरासुरा वन हू हेज डिस्ट्रॉयड द प्राइड ऑफ लॉर्ड यमा थ्रू द मार्कंडेय लीला वन हू हेज एन एक्स इन हिज हैंड एंड वन हू हेज लॉन्ग शार teeth in the gita it is said that bhagwan as though is chewing away all the beings damstra karalani chate mukhani and arjun is able to see all the beings are being chewed away as though by the lord and some of them are getting stuck in between his teeth as a vishwarup darshan where he is seeing srishti sthiti pralay at the same time so this is the form of lord shiva in the sharva roopa one who is the destroyer of tripurasura one who destroyed the pride of yamraj one who has the axe in his hand and one who has large sharp teeth through which he destroys the whole universe this specific name bhagwan got when he destroyed tripurasura so we pray to lord shiva that may he destroy our sins may he destroy our negative karmas and may he destroy our fear of death and may he ultimately unite us with him slowly slowly in centuries pass by the tread of time destroys everything and nature destroys the three sources only water destroys air fire earth and space cannot destroy it it will not destroy it. but these are the main three sources of all destruction including you why are you getting old air fire what these are the three things which can bring about destruction we among these various malu maru mari jir marudamasmi among the maruts children of rudra the great a total destroyer the supreme reality functioning through the total mind is ishwara lord and the lord ishwara expresses in the world of plurality for you and i to see as the power of creation the power of destruction and the power of sustenance all the three powers put together is called the omnipotent thing all these three the brahma ji the creator vishnu the sustainer and shiva the rudra the destroyer so there is not that uh, rudra is going to destroy unnecessary no in nature though there are destructions that you see everywhere it is always constructive destruction the morning flower by evening is destroyed you need not cry about it where the flower is destroyed in two days time you find the fruit emerging the fruit decays don't destroy, cry you the fruit of the nature made it and then destroyed it yes destroyed it not that the, the seed may be born the seeds did get decayed not that the seed will not come your childhood was destroyed so that you may come to the youth the youth was destroyed so that you may gracefully come to the middle age 
the middle age was destroyed so that you can come to the gracious old age ay 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 yesterday was destroyed so that today may be born fresh fields and pastures new for those who are dynamically living here is another day for you so in nature destruction is there because it's the march of time but all destructions in nature is constructive destruction even as storms constructive destruction jungle fire though forest fire you may say that oh it's all destroyed so many it is constructive wait for another 20 years you find a lush growth there yeah, everything is constructive though apparently in a limited period of time when you look at it you find that all nature is utterly destroyed yes to sensitive thoughtless people it is all uh mourning you can cry for the various things that are destroyed but the thinking man understands that in a larger span of time and the nature always looks ahead 25 30 or 50 years ahead in the time you find that everything is constructive destruction destructive destruction is only human stupidity but have a gain in the gulf you can count the destruction made and out of it what do you got <laughs> constructive destruction is uh nature's method therefore all that rudra the supreme destroyer destroyer don't understand in that uh, foul meaning the individual who destroys the virginity of my mother so that i may come out as her son now you can one way see that you destroy the virginity of my mother but the other side she has come into the dignity of my mother it is a question of your point of view om namah shivaya